<laughs> now, I'm over here uh, and I'm not alone. I want to show you two books. One is called How, but you don't know how, and uh, Life, A Trip Towards Trust. Now, uh, I want you to have a look at these because uh, the man responsible for both of these, international speaker uh, and best-selling author too, uh, Kevin Kelly, is with me today. And we want to talk about uh, motivation, sir. And we want to talk about uh, changing life. You haven't been back for a while. It's, uh, that's right, two you, years, Marty. You were, you were we loved you so much we brought you back two <laughs> that's years right, later. Yeah. You were a huge success. That was that useless. <laughs> <laughs> this is your second chance. <laughs> no, you are uh, you're an amazing character. And those, uh, I know life is the new one, but this one has sold uh, 12 and thousands. thousand, yeah. Right, lots and lots of copies. So um, we're talking about resolutions today, making New Year's resolutions, sticking with them. And, and, and you're a man for plans. You like to, you sit down and you say, oh, no, hang on a second, there is a way to do this. Mm. as opposed to just haphazardly having a go and then not, mm. isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, well, there, there's many issues. I suppose we're just a week into it and already people have thrown in the towel. And so I suppose the first question I'd ask those people is, did they really want it in the first place? Did they really want to achieve those goals? And how they can try, uh, test that out is very, very simple. Number one is put down their goals on a piece of paper and write down under each of them the reasons why they want to achieve them. The more reasons, the more motivated they're going to be. Then have a look at the following. Does, uh, were their goal, the, the goals a reflection of their values, something that was really valuable and important to them in their life? Because if your goals are congruent with your values, you're more motivated. Right. Number three, did they actually write it down? Did they commit to a date? And more importantly, did they break that dream down into a few steps and took action on any step? And is, and it, very important, is it very important to stick to a date, to, to stick a date and say, by that date I will give up cigarettes, I will Absolutely. start eating fruit or something. Is that good? Well, there's two, two sides to written goals. There's two reasons why it's very, very important. When we write, traditionally, we commit subconsciously. Yes, correct. That's number one. But number two as well is when you write, you actually put three inputs into your short-term memory, memory. Um, auditorily because you're talking as you write, visually because you see the writing, and kinesthetically because you're feeling your, feeling your hand as you go along the page. So you've trebled the chance that you'll remember the stuff in, because it's been in your short-term memory three times. All right. So now, there are people watching us today and they have difficulty and they're saying, well, what do I do? Mm. Um, and you're saying, of course, naturally, be positive, get back on that mm. step if, you, if you've fallen off. But in terms of a plan, what, 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 what way would you suggest that people look at it now? Okay, well, I suppose the first thing is when they have their goals written down on a piece of paper, I'd like to think that it's a balanced a balanced list, as in that the goals reflect all aspects of their life. It's not just become a workaholic this year or become a shopaholic or become, you know, a, st yes. a stresslessaholic, yeah. you know, from all aspects of their life. But here's a great, great tip that will help them get motivation is what I would suggest they do is with one of the goals that is very, very important to them. Now, it has to be important to them. It has to be something that's congruent with their values so they're motivated. Write down what will happen in one year's time in all aspects of their life if they do not achieve the goal. So let them write that down first. Then take another piece of paper. That's very good. Yeah, well, the flip side of it is, and I'll explain in a minute, is that write down on another piece of paper what will happen in all aspects of their life if they achieve their goal. You see, we're motivated two ways, Marty, away from pain or towards pleasure. One of the other models is going to motivate them. So they'll either look at this list, oh, my God, this is, I don't want this to be like this in another year's time, or they'll go, oh, my God, this would be fantastic in a year's time. And either model will tend to motivate them. And if they really want it, it'll motivate them and they'll take the first step, which is the critical step and yeah. it's the step that most people don't. They talk about it, they're going to do it, but they end up being never doing it. And is it generally, do you find, a lack of confidence that stops people from just going forward? Or fear of the unknown? That whole thing about stepping outside absolutely. the circle. Absolutely. Well, you've said it there in one sentence. Like, we can look at all the little small things, but the bottom line, as I see it, the reasons why people don't pursue something that they really want is this small inner voice that's saying to them, I'm not good enough. In fact, I would say New Year's resolutions is the best, best catalyst for a person getting involved in personal development. Because they'll, they have to ask themselves, the question why did I fail on New Year's resolutions again and invariably it's a part of them that's saying I'm not good enough I'm not going to succeed so what they've got to do is exercise that ghost in the new year yeah. and set a goal to work on yeah. themselves but of course the other thing too isn't it true to say there's lots of people around all of us who are negative 
yeah. who will bring you down, even though you might be the positive one yeah. with the as uh, aspirations and mm. the goals. There's folk around us who will say, ah, you'd never be any good at that, it'd be stupid. Mm. And people can bring you down, can't they? They can, but life's a journey of choice, and you choose yes. to be brought down. And, like, you know, the, the, the biblical thing is that it's the road less travelled, I guess, and the reality is, in the context of setting goals and following your dreams, it is a reality that people will tell you, you're not good enough, forget about it, and you might be taken in by that. I, I remember in 1996, um, uh, Marty, when I set a goal of writing a bestseller, the how and you don't know how, and I had a D in English in my leaving cert, the people around me, a lot of them said, you are wasting your time. You're no good at English. Nobody's ever written a book in this, you know, motivation type psychology book in Ireland. You have no publisher. And all of these meant you're wasting your time. But I focused on the goal, and that's another key point, is to focus on the goal and the map will appear. Don't focus on the obstacles, because the obstacles will become a self-fulfilling prophecy and you will attract obstacles all along the way and it won't happen. Don't let negatives focus around Focus on you, yes. the goal. Like one of the things I did just as an interesting point, because it's key that people get their philosophies inside out. We're inside out rather than outside in. Like at the back of my door, up at, I know this sounds, but this is the way it works. At, at the back of my door, I had, I am a best-selling author in 1996 before I'd written a book at all. So I had it imprinted in my mind that this was the vision I wanted to go towards. If you're not convinced, you certainly won't be able to convince other people to help but you. But that's like the power of positive thought, isn't it? Yeah, you're, you're very much so. Too. Very much so, yeah. yeah. But when you're negative, you can put all the goals you like in front of you, but the small inner voice, as you talked about earlier, is going to say, I'm not good enough. Yeah. And you're going to say, ah, oh, well, we'll leave it for another year. Your idea that you came up with there for, the, for you know, what would happen in a year's time with this if I do it and this if I don't do it. Um, would you apply that to every sort of resolution? Because people don't generally do one thing. They maybe have four or five things on a list of things they want to change about themselves and their mm. lives. Do you think that they should do that for each of those goals? Absolutely, you yeah. Do. Absolutely, because what you're trying to do is get them motivated, get them excited about the journey. You know, and it's amazing what happens when you take the journey. Like, I just have one quick story to tell you that just this June, one of my long-term goals was to get my books into the education system and to get personal development to the forefront in the education system, which I think everybody would agree was really important. Yeah, sure. And last June I sat in front of Pat McDonough from Supermax, we had a great chat and he totally agreed with it and he says, you know what, I will back you. We designed um, a course, a 15, 16 class course that's now up and running in transition year schools around the country. It's now a transition year module. And I remember Pat McDonough saying to me at the time, he says, if there's a will, there's a way. What I say about goals is focus on the goal and the map will appear. The next day after that meeting, I rang up the national transition year coordinator and they said, this is just what we wanted. Fantastic. So, you know, dare to dream. There's and no question dream. about it. Listen, will you, um, I'm thinking of running for president. Can we have a talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not a miracle worker. Can I just say, <laughs> there's no need for that abuse. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Kelly, I have the two books here. Will you uh, please come back, but don't wait two years. Come back and talk to us Thank again. you very much, Martin. You're a joy Cheers. to talk to. Thank well you very done. much. And a happy new year to you, sir. You and all too, your, thank you. Your future projects. Well done, Kevin Kelly.